Welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna be showing you guys how I got this fall olive and makeup look. So let's go ahead and jump into this tutorial. I'm starting off as you always using my Makeup Revolution Concealer in C12 to prime my eyes and carve underneath my brows. I'm gonna be using a flat concealer brush as well to pat this product onto my eyes to set it because it does dry down into a more of a matte finish. And I just noticed that it kind of sets a little bit faster when I pat it down. I'm going to add some tape to the side of my eye so that way I get a nice clean look once I'm done with all of my eyeshadows. Then we're going to jump into our shadows. The first shadow I'm going to be using is from Melchior. I think that's how you pronounce the brand name, but they have a lot of single shadows. This one is in the shade Kiss Me. This is a really pretty like bright red eyeshadow and I thought it would kind of complement the olive look really well. So I'm just going to place that onto my crease. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply that onto the crease and blend it out using a Morphe M506 brush. The second color I'm going into is from Color Green from their Beauty Rust palette. This shade is called a natural and it's just kind of like a warm like peachy type of brown type color. So I just use this to blend out the edges of Kiss Me, that last shadow that we used from Melchior. And don't be afraid to go back in with your previous brush that you used to apply that red eyeshadow to re-intensify the color because I know sometimes the colors can kind of get lost in between blending. After that, I'm gonna go into my third eyeshadow for the crease, and I'm gonna be using Dusk, which is also from the Color Green Beauty Rust Palette. After I'm done applying Dusk, I'm gonna go ahead and go back in with my previous M506 brush that I used to apply Kiss Me. I just kind of blend out the edges so that way there's no harsh lines. And if you need to, you can also use the M506 brush that you use to apply Natural, which is that peachy light brown color, and go over the edges of that red just to make sure that's really well blended as well. Then next, I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting the crease using my Makeup Revolution Concealer again. You guys know this is the concealer that I go to when I'm cutting my crease. I use the shade C1 because it's a lot lighter than the color that I use to prime my eyes. Usually for the lid area, I like to apply like lighter colors or like metallic colors. And I you notice that having a lighter base just makes those colors like appear brighter. And that's why I use a lighter shade for the lid. You definitely wanna take your time during this step. It is a pretty time consuming process for me. And it's mostly because I really like take my time and make sure like everything is super sharp and clean. I'm a bit of a perfectionist that way, but I feel like it all kind of pays off in the end. So don't feel bad if it's kind of taking you a while to kind of get your cut crease down because you do definitely want to like take your time during this part and make sure that it's really perfect and nice and crisp. So I'm using this single shadow from Color Rain. This one is called Side of Olives and I'm just going to pat that on all over the lid area and then use a smaller brush to get really close to the edges. Then to really intensify the lid and kind of make it a little bit more glittery, I'm using a pigment from Alexa Persico. This one is called Regal and it's also an olive color just to kind of keep it consistent. So I basically used that last eyeshadow as like a base for this pigment. And I did use the NYX glitter glue just to make sure that the pigment has something to kind of stick onto. For this look, I also wanted to add a really bold liner. So I'm going in with my Pretty Vulgar Ink Gel Liner first to kind of create the shape that I'm looking for. I'm gonna blend out the outer corner as well just to make sure that it's easy for me to blend out later and add a black eyeshadow on the outer corner. Then to intensify the outer corner, I'm gonna go in with another eyeshadow from Colored Rain. This one is Black Moon, and I'm gonna use that to bold out the outer corner and blend out the edge of that gel liner. Thank you. 
To smooth out any lumps or bumps or whatever for the liner, I'm gonna use the NYX Matte Liquid Liner on the edges as well as kind of like on any spaces where I feel like there's like a little gap or something like that or it's just not as dark as like the rest of the liner and just kind of clean up the look a little bit more. Then we're gonna go in with mascara. I'm using the Maybelline Big Shot Mascara today. And right after, I'm gonna apply some lashes. The lashes that I'm using are from Lily Lashes and these are in the style NYC. I'm gonna apply those using some tweezers and then just kind of press them together with my natural lashes using a pair of lash curlers. So I'm gonna pause with the eyes for a second and move on to skin. To prime my skin first, I'm using the CoverGirl primer in the, I'm just gonna say the shade. <laughs> I was, I'm using the CoverGirl um, pore minimizing primer. So I'm just gonna apply that all over the face and just kind of tap it on the cheek areas because I do have larger pores there. So I feel like it kind of just like fills in my pores a little bit better when I tap it on versus just kind of like smearing it on like I did the rest of my face. Then for foundation, I'm using the Maybelline 24 Hour Superstay Liquid Foundation. I'm in the shade 330 Toffee, so I'm using a Juno & Co Microfiber Velvet Sponge to apply this, and yeah, I'm just gonna buff that all over the face and go in with a brush to get really close to my edges there so I don't mess it up using my sponge. Then for concealer, I'm using Urban Decay's Naked Skin Concealer in the shade Medium Dark Warm. This one has a yellow tone to it, so it's really great to kind of brighten the under eyes. So I'm just gonna go ahead and highlight all the areas that I typically do. So for me, that's the under eyes and sides of my mouth. I also add a little bit to the bridge of the nose just so I have like a nice consistent blend between the under eyes and the nose area. Then I'm gonna set everything using the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder. This one is in the shade 30. And I'm just gonna go ahead and apply that over all the areas that I applied concealer. Then once everything is set, we can go ahead and start warming up the face. I'm using Makeup Forever's Pro Fusion Bronzer in the shade 30M. Moving back to the eyes, I'm gonna start off smoking out the lower lash line. I'm first gonna go in with this Lancome Eye Coal. This is their Ombre Hypnos Kajal. I think that's how you say it, but it's just a basically like a black eyeliner. So I'm just gonna use that on the waterline and kind of bring it out towards like the lower lash line as well. Then to blend it out, I'm gonna be using Colored Rain's Dusk Eyeshadow from the Beauty Rust Palette. Just kind of go over the eyeliner to make sure there's no harsh lines. Then also use Kiss Me from Melchior to really smoke out the the lower lash line even more and kind of bring back that symmetry between the crease and the lower lash line. Before I go into brows, I'm gonna add my L'Oreal Lash Primer so that way my lashes are super voluminous when I put on my mascara. Then to fill in my brows, I'm gonna use what I always use. I go in with the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Ebony. I just create like little hair-like strokes on my brows because I don't like anything too harsh or crazy when it comes to my brows. I try to keep them as natural as possible. And then to set them, I use the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel.
I'm gonna add some mascara to my lower lashes to complete the eyes and then now we can go ahead and move into highlighting and stuff I'm gonna first go in with the heritage store rose water and glycerin spray and this is just gonna kind of give my highlighter something to stick onto and also get rid of that powdery look from all the powders that we use then for highlighting, I'm using Lancome's Glow For It palette and I'm taking the lightest highlighting shade and just applying that onto all the high points of my face. So the cheekbones, on the forehead, the bridge of the nose, tip of the nose, a little bit on the cupid's bow and on the chin area. Then to intensify that highlight on the cheekbones as well as the bridge of the nose, I'm gonna go in with ColourPop Super Shock Cheek Highlighter in the shade Thimble and just press that in using my finger. So last but not least, I'm gonna go ahead and start working on my lips. I'm using two different lip liners today. The first one I'm using is from ColourPop as well. This is in the shade BFF3, and I'm gonna just use that to line my lips as usual. I'm slightly overlining on the Cupid's bow, but everything else is pretty much kind of true to my natural lip line. You also wanna go ahead and fill in the outer edges of your lips, so that way you have like a really cute like ombre effect when you apply your lipstick later on. Then to create like a shadow on the outer edge of my lips, I'm gonna be using a darker lip pencil. This is ColourPop's Pitch Lip Pencil, and I'm just gonna lightly drag this on the outer edge of my lips, again, to create like a slight shadow. Then last but not least, to fill in my lips, I'm using ColourPop's Makeup Shayla lipstick in the shade Quickie. And that's pretty much it for this look, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Comment down below and let me know what you think and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and hopefully I will see you in my next one.